Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in October. <laughs> So if you're new to this series, yes, I love ebooks. I love to download ebooks. I love to get free ebooks. I love to get Kindle Unlimited books. I get a wide range of ebooks. So I've read actually quite a few of these. So I'm gonna start out with those and just spurt out a summary that I know about these books because I actually read them. And then I'm going to be going into my normal thing where I read the summary off of the books that I don't know. So first we're gonna talk about Returning His Favor by Jacqueline Francis. I read this book for my top five rated books video. This is about a woman who is plus size and she's a photographer and her falling for an ex-Amish man who is a mechanic. It's around 250 pages, so it's fairly short. I'm not gonna give a wrap up what I thought about. It. You can go check out my wrap up for that, but I downloaded this one in October for that video. Next is Neat by Candy Steiner. This is the second book in her companion series. You don't need to read the first book to understand this one at all. This is a Romeo and Juliet-esque story where um, these two families basically kind of have worked together in this distillery in their very small town and a woman from one family and a man from another family end up forming a relationship together that is forbidden. I really loved this. Talk about it more in my October wrap-up if you want to know more about it. Next book on this list is The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. This is the fourth book in another companion series, but you don't need to read the other books to understand this one. I say go into this book blind. That's what I did and I got the most out of it. I, I loved that I went into it blind because I didn't know anything and it made it so much better. It is a romance book though between a guy who doesn't like expressing his feelings and a woman who does and it is very gut-wrenching. I loved it. Go check out my wrap-up or my thoughts. Next is Ice Planet Honeymoon Rahash and Liz's story. This is number 2.5 in the Ice Planet Barbarian series by Ruby Dixon. I read this in October so if you want to know my thoughts about it go check out my October wrap-up but this is a novella a part of the Ice Planet Barbarian series which is alien romance series where women get crash-landed onto this deserted snow ice planet and the only inhabitants are a very small tribe of blue aliens and most of them are men and it's about faded mates and people finding their lifelong partners through aliens. It's actually really good. So I read that one in October so if you want to know my thoughts about it go check out my October wrap up. And the last one on this list that I have read is Nadine's Champion by Ruby Dixon, which is a book a part of the Ice Home series, which is a spinoff of the Ice Planet Barbarians. It takes place in the same world. It's just a different series. It's a spinoff. It's basically Ice Planet Barbarians. I will talk about this book in my November wrap up because I read it the first day of November. Also, all of the Ice Planet Barbarian and Ice Home books are on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check any of those out. Next is the only arc that I got in the month of October. I got this off of NetGalley. I was sent Love Unscripted by Owen Nichols. This doesn't come out until February 2020. This is 352 pages. Ellie has the quizzical eyebrows of broadcast news, era Holly Hunter, and the neon red hair of Kate Winslet in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. At least that's what caught Nick's attention when he met her on the night of 2008's historic presidential election. A cinema devotee, a lover of great love stories, Nick always fancied himself the Tom Hanks of his own romantic comedy, and when sparks flew with Ellie that night, he swiftly cast her as the Meg Ryan of his story. For four blissful years, Nick loved Ellie just as he loved his job as a film projectionist wholly, earnestly, cinematically. But now Ellie has moved out, convinced that the fire is gone, and Nick is forced to sift through his memories to figure out where it all went wrong. That night was a perfect meet-cute yes, but was their romance destined for a happily ever after as he thought? Was he really the rom-com hero he believes he'd been? Or did this Harry let his Sally down? Peppered with references to beloved movies, Love Unscripted explores how even a hopeless romantic can learn that in real life, love isn't, shouldn't be like what we see in the movies. This looked so good. This reminds me a lot of Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey, which is a book I read a couple months ago. I can't wait to get started. I'm so thankful that I got sent an art copy. Hopefully I can get to this very soon because it looks so cute. Next we have The Trouble with Flying by Rochelle Morgan. At the time this was free I think for a day. Right now it's 99 cents. This is the first in a series 
and is 256 pages. Sarah doesn't talk to strangers. It's awkward, stressful, and there's the uncontrollable blushing to worry about. When she boards a plane to fly home after an overseas holiday, she plans to stick her nose in a book and ignore everyone around her. Aiden's terrified of flying, and it's his first time on a plane. If he can distract himself by talking nonstop for the entire flight, he will. Too bad for Sarah, he's sitting right next to her. Against all Sarah's expectations, she ends up enjoying Aiden's company. They laugh, argue, concoct stories about other passengers, and accidentally hold hands during the turbulence. When the time comes to say goodbye, Sarah can't help the crazy thought that she shouldn't let Aiden go. Then he kisses her, and then he's gone. With her world turning upside down in more ways than one, Sarah has to make a decision. Stick with the safe, predictable life that has been mapped out for her, or find the courage to go after what she truly wants. This sounded really cute. Sarah kind of reminded me of myself, so that's why I immediately picked it up, because if I was on a plane, I would stick my nose in a book and not talk to anybody. So this sounded really cute, like a really cute romance. So I can't wait to read this one as well. Next we have Anything For You by Leila Hagen, which is the first book in the Connor Family series. This is currently $3.99. I got it for free at the time though. It was free for a day and it is exactly 300 pages. Hotshot CEO Landon Connor has many talents. He's successful and driven. After practically raising his siblings, hard work is second nature to him. Maybe he's a little too career focused. Some like his big and boisterous family would even call him a workaholic. Landon has good reasons for putting his personal life on hold, but meeting landscape designer Maddie Jennings makes him question his choices. He can't get enough of her sweetness or her sensual curves. Maddie is all he sees in everything he wants. Maddie hasn't met anyone quite like Landon. He's sexier than anyone has the right to be and more intense too. He's a little bossy, a lot hot. Despite fanning herself, every time he comes near her, she tries to ignore their attraction. Maddie isn't sure that she and Landon are quite right for each other. When Landon romances her with late night walks and sinful dancing, she can't help give in to him. His touch is intoxicating and their passion is scorching hot. His love is beautiful, but can Landon open up his heart for longer than a summer? This seemed really cute. I've read one Leila Hagen book, I think, in the past, and I think I really enjoyed that one. So when I found that it was free for a day, I snatched that sucker up for sure. Next is the Kate Gen Alphas Volume 1 by T.A. Gray. This is like a bind up of the first three books, and it is $3.54, but at the time it was free, so I snatched it up when it was free. And it is 369 pages, so I guess that each book is maybe around 100 pages long. I guess I'll read the summary for the first book in this bind up, which is called Mating Cycle. Each year, Lycan Princess Serena Bruins goes through her mating cycle, a powerful force that makes the desire to mate nearly inescapable. When Serena is sent away by her father to endure the mating cycle alone, she never expects a sexy alpha to come to her doorstep. When Alpha Vane Kategan stumbles upon Serena in the midst of her cycle, he is determined to help her, if only to ease her pain. However, she denies them both what they so desperately want, but Vane won't give up on his seduction until they both find bliss. What neither of them count on is falling in love. Right when they need each other the most, they are torn apart by her father's cruelty. Now Serena must fight to be with the one she loves and risk losing the only family she has left in the process. Can Serena escape her father's grasp for the arms of the man she loves? That sounded really good. I really want to read that. I might even read that one little short story tonight. That seems so good. <laughs> That reminds me of Black Dagger Brotherhood when they go into their mating cycle. So I want to check this out for sure. Next we have An Unexpected Bride, A Regency Romance by Ashton Newbold. This is on Kindle Unlimited. So if, if you have Kindle Unlimited, here you go. But if you don't, it is $3.99 to purchase on your Kindle. At the time it was free. In total, it is 180 pages. Eleanor Claridge had it all. A family that loved her, a secret romance with a handsome soldier, and a beautiful home in the seaside town of Brighton. Abducted and taken to Scotland under the ruse of a happily elopement, Eleanor was forced to marry the wicked man she had once loved. Widowed and alone, she flees the first coach back to Brighton with her young son, vowing never to marry or trust another man again. Henry Beaumont, by all opinions of society, was meant to be a vicar. After inheriting an estate, he finds his life of a gentleman boring, bleak, 
weak and without purpose. When he meets the missing Claridge girl on her journey back to Brighton, he is drawn to protecting Eleanor, her son, and their many secrets. When Eleanor's reputation and the safety of her child are questioned, she has no choice but to enter into a marriage of convenience with Henry, whose kindness and inviting blue eyes leave her questioning if love is such a dreadful notion after all. Can she learn to open her heart again, or will the secrets of her past catch up with her before she has the chance? That sounds really good. This is the first, fifth book in the Brides of Brighton series. I, hopefully it doesn't matter if you read them out of order, um, but that sounded so good. So I need to pick this one up soon for sure. Next is my current read. We have Trick by Natalia Jaster. This was the Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of October. We have yet to get around to our live show. The live show will be this Saturday, I believe. So tomorrow, if this video goes up on Friday, this is book number one in the Foolish Kingdoms series. This is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can buy it for $3.99 on your Kindle. And it is 306 pages. He's a wicked jester. She is a righteous princess. In the Kingdom of Spring, a poet is renowned. He's young and pretty, a lover of men and women. He performs for the court, kisses like a scoundrel, and mocks with a silver tongue. Yet allow him this. It's only the most cunning and manipulative soul who can play the fool. For beyond the castle walls, poet guards a secret. One the crown would shackle him for, one that he'll risk everything to protect. Alas, it will take more than clever words to deceive Princess Briar. Convicted that he's juggling lies as well as verse, this righteous nuisance of a girl is, is determined to expose him. But not all falsehoods are fiendish. Poet's secret is delicate, binding the jester and princess in an unlikely alliance and kindling a breathless attraction as alluring as it is forbidden. This so far is really good. I think I'm around 20% of the way through the book. I need to finish it very soon for our live show. So be sure to check this book out and talk about it with us on our live show. Um, I believe it is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday. Next we have Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. This book was recommended to me by my lovely friend Ashley from Ash Heart Books. We actually talked about it on our last live show for the Lovely Ladies Book Club. She read this and loved it. It is a fantasy romance book so I needed to buy it right then and there. So I paid $4.99 for this one and this is the first book in a series called Dark Court Rising, and it is 430 pages. In a realm ruled by magic, the ruthless Queen of Thorns is determined to destroy her nemesis, the cursed Prince of Evernight. With war brewing between the bitter enemies, the prince forces Queen Adalia to uphold an ancient treaty. She will send one of her daughters to his court as a political hostage for three months. The queen insists it's the perfect opportunity for Princess Iskvin to end the war before it begins, but one look into Thiago's smoldering eyes and V knows she's no assassin. The more secrets she uncovers about the prince and his court, the more she begins to question her mother's motives. Who is the true enemy? The dark prince who threatens her or the ruthless queen who will stop at nothing to destroy him? And when the curse threatens to shatter both courts, is her heart strong enough to break it? That looks so stinking good. I need to read it as soon as possible. I don't know why. I bought this at the very beginning of October. I have yet to read it. I need to read it. I have to read so many of these books, but this one's probably the next one out of all of them that I was mo that I'm most likely to get to because it looks so good, like right up my alley. Anyways, there y'all have it. Those were all of the books that I downloaded in the month of October. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. I would love to know and talk with you about them down in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye.